come out there and said it ain't a, a great performance, which it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. Arsenal do this where they have two, three games where, you know, they disappoint, they fall short of expectations, maybe go on a bad run. It's, you know, what was the analogy that Laurie was using about the, the buses? buses? Like, it seems Rainbow that's the case with, that's cars. the kind of thing with defeats as well for us under Arteta. That's true. But we tend to actually respond quite well then when we do get that little break or when we've kind of finally shook it off, Arsenal do seem to impress. Now, how far are you going as a fan, James? How far are you going with... Why, so why are we not questioning the fact that we go on these little runs? And he's actually right. We do go on these little runs. And these little runs is exactly why we will not win the league. We will not win the league. When we lost to Newcastle, they told me, oh, we're back after we beat Burnley. You know what I'm saying? Then we lost to Aston Villa. Oh, we're back after we beat Brighton. Then we lost to West Ham and Fulham. And now we're back against because we won against Crystal Palace after losing to Fulham and West Ham. This type of performances is why we're not going to win the league. We are not going to be as perfect as we need to be or as close to being perfect as we need to be to win the league. You can't keep losing, winning, losing, winning, losing, 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 winning. What are we doing here? Do you know what I'm saying? Why are we not calling that out? Why are we not saying, why is the bench not being addressed? Why is this manager not getting the most out of this team? Why is it that we have to keep losing to come back? Why are we still coming back? It doesn't make any sense. How is that a sustainable run to win the league against Pep and Man City, a team that won the treble last season? Do you know what I'm saying? So what's he talking about? Listen, Harry Potter, you may have gone JD, got some new gums, you know what I'm saying? Got some TNs, got a new jumper and got a little flipping TN, flipping cap. It doesn't change anything. You know what I'm saying? I've been telling these foolish people that it ain't good enough. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't care if Harry Potter's gone to JD. I don't care if we've got Lenny Henry coming out the, the, the flipping Emirates. I don't care if Dowd's coming out looking like the flipping bow selector version of flipping um, Craig David. Oh, look, it's a bad new bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It ain't good enough and it's not sustainable. Why are we not asking questions? You know why? Super Mick Arteta, he knows exactly what we need, these flipping food stuff booked up. Because you said, I don't believe we'll win the league now, off the back mm. of the three defeats. Listen, I'm not saying you beat Palace and you, you can go and win the league, but you've still come back today and like flex a bit. And did we, I don't know if our performance was a massive flexing, but a 5-0 and a really comfortable one at that it's certainly us just going, look, we've enjoyed the break, we've come back. And there was a there was a sharpness to our play, like I said. And I, it's Man wants to flex after beating Crystal Palace. I right, know. This is what I'm talking about. We're flexing after beating Crystal Palace. Man said, oh, I don't know. I think we should flex after beating Crystal Palace. We, we won 5-0. Five, five, bro, go, bro, go flex that booty somewhere else. Go somewhere else, you fruity fiddle da puta. What are we talking about here? Flexing after beating Crystal Palace. Oh, Mel Dells, I'm telling you, bruv, that is the most Arsenal top gooner flipping response after beating Crystal Palace I've ever heard. We're going to flex because we beat Crystal Palace. Oh, Mel Dells, the amount of receipts are lining up. This is what I'm talking about. These men get so happy with the bare minimum. We are supposed to be Crystal Palace. Their fans don't even rate them. Their own fans are putting out banners. What are we talking about? Whether we're in, we're in good form to win the league or not, we're going to beat Crystal Palace regardless. What are we talking about? Good win, we move. We're talking about flexing. Flexing what? We've got nothing to flex. What are we going to flex with? The community shield. Finish the boot. I'm so done. It's simple. For Knicks. For this, but. This guy is chimba. What are we, bro? The bare minimum, bro. The bare minimum, we want to use it as a flex. These men are so desperate for this manager to do his job, bro. I'm so tired of this crap, bruv. I'm so tired of it. It's so jarring, bro. It's literally so jarring. You know what I'm saying? So jarring, bro. Certainly us just going, look, we've enjoyed the break. We've come back. And there was a, there was a sharpness to our play, like I said, and I'm really glad. In terms of the title race question, you know, I'm still standing with what, sticking with what I'm going with, but I didn't go as far as to say that I think we'd finish behind Liverpool, and I'm sticking with that. I think That's we can. Oh, okay. So you want to flex because we beat Crystal Palace. You're still going with Arsenal not going to win the league, but we'll finish ahead of Liverpool. Why do Manu Kuso feel that puta? How does that make any sense for a flex? What are we talking about? We're flexing because we're going to finish ahead of Liverpool. What are we talking about? We're gonna, bro. You've just predicted we're not gonna win the league. We're gonna finish, but we're gonna finish in front of Liverpool, and we beat Crystal Palace. Let's flex. 
Ai, meu Deus. Ai, meu Deus. I want to get one flex. I want to flex this chinelo on these top gooners, bro. That's what I want to do. I'm not cansado. It's always the same rubbish, bro. The same rubbish. Getting excited over nothing. Meu Deus. You can take them at the Emirates next and, um, yeah, at least be the closest challenge to City. Right, to say, because Jorginho, I know, to be fair, we met... Anyway, you, you know he's, I'm Yeah, well. he's, <laughs> he's totally won me over. Yeah. Because, you know, for, Sir Alex Ferguson's great. Man United sides had players in there that had to do a job. Yeah. I'm not comparing one player to another or anything like that before people get carried away. I'm just saying that Jorginho has had to come in and do a job. And apart from the Tottenham, if he didn't have that Tottenham error, mm. I think we'd be saying it's an absolute bargain, the 12 million we paid for him, because he's come in and more than done a job. Mm. He came in today and I thought, I saw the watch wrong. We're talking about Jorginho has won you over. For what? These men, this is what I'm saying. This club has no standards, man. What has Jorginho done? One little performance and he didn't even play in 90 minutes. And all of a sudden he's won you over. The same way you man were telling me Rob Holden won you over, El Nene won you over, Inketia won you over. After scoring three, four goals in a stretch to get top four, after scoring a couple of goals and us falling short last season of winning the league, he's won you over. These man, these finished up with the, this is what I'm saying. They deserve everything that's happening, gonna happen to us this season with not winning a major honor. Won you over? How did he win you over? Because of one assist. Can you count on him? Can you rely on him? Can you rely on him? If one of our midfielders are injured, starting midfielders are injured, are you happy going with Jorginho to the end of the season? What are you chatting about? He's won you over. This is what I'm, this is what gets me vexed, man. These men, I'm telling you, these are always pushing this club to do the bare minimum. And you best believe this club is watching online thinking, all right, also, we don't need any strikers. Everybody's so gassed that we scored a couple of goals against Crystal Palace, everything's fixed. Oh, Jorginho's won them over. Oh, don't worry. Oh, we're going to go get Douglas Luiz. No, no, no. Cancel that. Cancel. Cancel o contrato, caramba. We don't need him anymore. No, tell them. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We've got Jorginho on the bench. Don't worry about it. Yeah? Oh, we're going to get a striker? No, 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 no. Don't you see what Top Gunners are saying? There's no need. There's no need to get a striker. These lot are happy that we've got Inketia and Havertz can do a job. Don't worry. Leave it as it is. All right, cool. Oh, no, but we need a defender. No, no, no. Oi, these lot still think that Kivio's the guy. Don't count. Oh, we're going to, what we're going to, we're going for Inacio. We're going Diamande. No, 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 don't worry. Calm, I feel you. Just keep, doesn't matter. We've got Kivio. He can do a job. Don't worry about it. Cancel that. Let's not go for the defender. The fan base is saying that we don't need to. Yeah? Don't worry. In Instagram, don't worry, man. They're all saying that it's calm. The bench is fixed. Everything's amazing. Oh, you, you need, oh, you need a right winger. No, no, no. They're saying, listen, everyone's forgetting that Saka had a poor performance once again against Crystal Palace. Don't worry about it, yeah? We're going to go in, we're going in for Sane. <laughs> we don't want to spend the money. Cancel that. Yo, lock that off. We don't need to. We've got Saka. If not, we've got Reese Nelson. Don't get behind him because he's Project Youth. So don't worry about it. Don't worry. Just, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool. Oh, no, no, but, 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 but we need a number 10. No, but don't worry. Nah, but I scanned through all these top gooners on Twitter. Nobody's talking about Odegaard's bad performance. Now, nah, Madison, no, no, no. What who are we looking at? Number 10. No, no, no. Cancel that. We don't need to. We don't need. We've got, listen, we've got Fabi Vieira coming back. They're happy about that because it's another project youth player. And we've got Odegaard. No one's talking about Odegaard's bad performance. Don't worry. Cancel that. We don't need number 10. Don't worry about that. Do you know what I'm saying? We'll go with what we've got. Don't worry about that. Do you know what I'm saying? That's how it's going right now. That is, that is Arsenal's transfer business. Yeah? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Do you know what I'm saying? We'll do what, what, what we got. The fan base aren't demanding it. So we'll just stick to what we got. Don't worry about it. Nobody's upset. Nobody's demanding more. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, but Arteta. Arteta, you were expected to win the league. Shh. Hey, listen, man. Context. Context. You know context? Yeah, man. Listen. The fan base are using context, innit? So they don't get cooked on, on, on Twitter. They don't get cooked on Instagram. They don't get cooked on, on WhatsApp. So don't worry about it, man. Context, yeah? Nobody expected us to be in this situation after I've spent £640 million, after it's been four years, yeah? Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, but I'll tell you, look, look, Una Emery and, and, and Big Ange Postacoglu might show you up. Listen, context, like, end of the day, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Like, end of the day, everyone keeps saying online, don't worry, what about VAR? We didn't get a lot of VAR decisions. You know what I mean? The Arsenal Bruno Mars on AFTV said, 
oh, the, the Premier League never liked to give us anything because Gabriel didn't get a brace. Don't you get it, bro? Chill. Don't worry about it. We don't need we don't need nothing, man. Don't worry about it. We can get top four. Top four's all right, man. You know what I mean? These men ain't seen top four for a while, so now they're gassed. Yeah, but Arteta, they had top four under, under Wenger for how many years, and that wasn't good enough. Yeah, but chill, bro. It's, it's, it's phase four now, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's Project Youth. Don't worry about it, man. Chill, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it, man. Do you know what I mean? We just keep going. You know what I mean? Only till phase five. Wait till phase five. Don't worry. Wait till phase five. Phase five, we're going to buy Mbappe. Don't worry. That's what they're saying. So no need to get no, no money, man. Cronkies, listen, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry. It's not a lot of expectation this season. Don't worry. As long as we are... I'm seeing online, as long as we push on in the Champions League and we go to the wire with Man City, as long as we're single digits behind Man City on the title race, that's good enough, man. Don't worry about it, bro. Do you know what I mean? We don't need no signings, bro. Don't worry about it. Do you know what I mean? That's how it's going. That is how it's going, Caramba. That is exactly how it's going. Do you know why? Because this fan base online, all they do is act like the flipping lawyer defense team for flipping for these flipping owners and this manager, bro. And this is why we're not going to do anything. And this is why nothing's going to happen. I'm done with it. I'm so sick and tired of it.